from New York, the greatest city in the world, it's The Late Show with David Letterman. Tonight, Martha Stewart, Nora Jones, and Ventriloquist Week continues with Otto and George. Plus, Paul Schaefer and the CBS Orchestra. And also, it's uh, it's a Wednesday night, and it's the third night of Ventriloquist Week here yes, on the Late it Show. Is. <clears throat> and <laughs> tonight we are being uh, joined by the immensely uh, talented Otto and George. Oh, Otto, yeah. how nice for yeah. Valentine's Day. It's, uh, I must say one thing, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is so gratifying uh, to live and work in New York City where the city is nothing if not supportive of every little thing that Paul and I have done over the last 25 years. And ventriloquist weeks, I, uh, I think, underscores what I'm talking about. What do you... When, uh, when the mayor found out about ventriloquist week, his name is... Uh, Michael Bloomberg, David. Exactly. <laughs> we got a call from his office and he said, what can we do to help? How can we boost, how can we be a real supporter of ventriloquist week? And we said... Geez, I don't know. Uh, thank you very much. It's very nice of you to, to be thinking of us, but, you know, we don't really... And then guess what? I woke up Monday morning. Yes. I took a look in the harbor. Here's what they had done. Isn't How about that? Beautiful that? For... Isn't that amazing? Our, our lady ventriloquist from the harbor. Ladies and gentlemen, it's ventriloquist week, and uh, my gosh, the calls that we've received at our switchboard all week have been tremendous. The coverage in the press nationwide has been outstanding. Beautiful. Everybody has got ventriloquist week fever. You may want to put the kids to bed for our guest tonight because uh -oh, uh -oh. He, is the, he is the most controversial ventriloquist ah, working today. Controversial. You don't often think of ventriloquism and controversy. No. We have it for you tonight. He has a, uh, a new CD entitled Classic Moments. I'm sorry, it's a DVD, not a CD. It's a DVD <laughs> entitled Classic Moments. Please welcome Otto and George. <laughs> Thank you. It's great to be here. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I just hope to God you don't curse. Nah, I'm not gonna curse. Happy Valentine's Day. And look, I got a big heart on. <laughs> Would you like to touch it? No, 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 thanks. Uh, just take this off here. Yeah, uh, you look good. Nice shirt. I didn't know Ted Bundy had a catalog. <laughs> uh. So, uh, what do you got planned for uh, Valentine's Day? Well, me and my girlfriend like to eat, you know? So I'm gonna take her to a nice restaurant for a romantic candlelit dinner, followed by a smooth elevator ride up to the room, and then I'm gonna watch the Letterman show. Well, of course, yeah. And as she talks when it's on, I'm gonna crack her skull open with an ashtray. <laughs> uh, that sounds real romantic. <clears throat> Just don't curse. Yeah, I can't curse that entertainment tonight can show Britney Spears Velcro when she's getting out of the car with no underwear on. Uh, I can't believe we're here at the Ed Sullivan Theater. This is just amazing, the history here, you know? Elvis Presley, Jim Morrison. Yeah, both dead. Speaking of dead, are they storing the bodies in here? I'm freezing. <laughs> It's freezing in here, it's cold outside, this gig sucks! All right. <laughs> oh, my God, the Statue of Liberty has the torch under her dress. All right. Ventriloquist <laughs> uh, leak. Yeah. You know they're mocking our profession? Yeah, Letterman over there, the skinny guy. He looks like Audrey Hepburn. No, he looks good. <laughs> You should eat something. You can afford it. Have a gyro, pal. <laughs> he looks like he should be a bouncer at a salad bar. All right, that's enough. <laughs> By the way, I liked you in Cabin Boy. That was your best work since Mork and Mindy. <laughs> it's like De Niro without the talent. All right, come on. <laughs> Paul Schaefer. Yeah, he looks good. Your barber call. The turtle wax is in. All right, stop that. <laughs> Does your head slide off the pillow at night? Oh. He's like Letterman's puppet. Who's working your head? All right, be nice, George. <laughs> By the 
By the way, I drive the taxi here in New York. Anybody recognize me? <laughs> hey, George, uh, have you ever had anybody really famous in your taxi? Yeah, I had former governor of New York Pataki in the cab. What kind of name is Pataki? It sounds like something you stepped in on the way to the car, you know? <laughs> hey, that's Pataki. Walk around it. Hey. <laughs> Mommy, I made a Pataki. <laughs> Who else have you had? I had uh, McGreevy, the governor of New Jersey. I made him right up front. He ain't sitting behind me. <laughs> uh, why don't you leave him alone? It's an alternative lifestyle. Yeah, right. Being Amish is an alternative lifestyle. All right. <clears throat> what did the black lesbian say to the white lesbian? You the man! All right. <laughs> Hey, George, did you, uh, did you see Brokeback Mountain? Yeah. What'd you think? Loved him, hated him. All right. <laughs> you know the original title of that was A Fistful of Testicles? All right, no way. <laughs> All right, we better hurry up. We got four minutes and they're throwing us out of here. Try getting in this building tomorrow, Geppetto. All right. <laughs> George, do you like plane travel? Oh, man, it sucks. Every time I get in an airplane, I'm never sitting next to a cute girl. I'm always sitting next to some old guy that wants to talk, you know? Where you from? Where you going? Where am I going? Look at your ticket. That's where we're all going. <laughs> oh, man. I'd like to sing a song for Valentine's Day. This is the love song from the movie Jaws. <laughs> Suddenly. I'm not half the man I used to. <laughs> good crowd, right? Yeah, and Sonny Bono's a good skier. All right. Uh. <laughs> I love Jaws. Jaws was a great movie. Remember the opening scene in Jaws? This drunk girl goes swimming naked. I'm drunk, get out of the water. Get out of it. And then you hear, da dun da dun Ah, ha, ha, come on, the water's great. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, ha, ha, doesn't this broad hear the music? <laughs> Get out of the water, that shark music! All right. Hey, is anybody here from New Jersey? New Jersey? <laughs> Kill yourself. <laughs> what a polluted dump New Jersey is. No. New Jersey, where a fart is refreshing. <laughs> Seriously. Here's a poem I wrote about Jersey. It's called Pollution. It's a poem. Go ahead. I shot an arrow into the air. It stuck. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, how are you? Thank you. Otto and George, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Dave. Thank you very much. Yeah. Nice to have you with us. Right. That's right. We'll be right back with Martha Stewart. Thank you. It, it happened. I was afraid it would happen, and it did happen. We uh, got a call during the show from the mayor's office. Uh, mayor Michael Bloomberg. And they sent this over, so I, I don't know. I guess I do know what this means. We're, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Because of the quality of the show? Something like they've that, They've taken yes. down taken, the... Taken down the dummy. Because of the... Something like that. Yeah, something I like see. that. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll load her up and try it again tomorrow.